So a recent SEC filing, Charlie, uh, showed Berkshire Hathaway bought almost $1 billion worth of shares in Activision Blizzard before the buyout by Microsoft. Do you like that investment? Well, I don't pay much attention to that one, but 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 uh, I think gaming is here to stay, if that's what you're talking about. And I like yeah, Robbie Kotick a lot. I consider him yeah. one of the, one of the reasonable people in that field. And I don't think he per personally tolerated a lot of crazy misbehavior either. Um. I want to broaden that out and ask you a little bit about technology, Charlie, because Warren often talks about understanding your circle of competence. And Berkshire has, has stayed away from tech for the most part, but you've had investments, obviously, in Apple and Verizon, BYD and Amazon with Greg Abel and, and Todd Combs and Ted Weschler at the helm. Tech is now about 45 percent of the portfolio. So is Berkshire shifting its strategy there? Well, I think Warren and I have come to tech like some newborn infant that's dragged there. We've had to come because, because reality has dragged us there. That's true all over America. Tech is here to stay. And Berkshire's biggest investment, Charlie, is in Apple. Do you expect Apple to continue to outperform other big tech stocks? And what's the future of Apple look like to you? You've got inflation, potential regulation, maybe potential headwinds like that. Well, I think Apple is one of the strongest companies in the world. I judge the strength of the company based on how much the customers love it. And I've got zillions of friends who they'd almost part with their right arm before they'd part with their iPhone. That's a hugely powerful position to be in. And I think Apple is one of the strong companies and will stay a strong company. And I think it's ungodly well managed. 